One of the reasons I'm getting involved is it seems to me where we are with Alzheimer's and dementia is a bit like where we were with HIV and AIDS you know, in the early 1980s. You know, back then, people thought, this is just a death sentence, and there's nothing you can do. And fortunately, amazing medical research and advances have taken us all the way to where people can live uh, with this condition. And I think one of the reasons why we need the philanthropic organizations, we need the universities, we need the great charities like Alzheimer's Research UK, is that we can't expect the drug companies to do all the work now because we're not far enough down the line. You know, Again, I'm an arts graduate, so forgive. I'm trying to think of the right analogy. With cancer, it seems to me, you know, we've got four or five pathways out of the forest. You know, shrinking tumors, genetic uh, medicines, um, all, all the other treatments that are working. We've got various pathways, and the researchers and the money is pouring down those pathways, and that's great. With Alzheimer's and dementia, we're not there yet. We're still hacking our way through the forest, trying to find the exit points. Uh, I think that we will find them. We know um, about the proteins building up in the brain, and maybe if we can find things that will affect them. We also know, and it, it has to be, can't be said too often, that this, you know, dementia is caused by diseases of the brain, not just part being a part of aging. So I think it's the right moment for the charities, the universities, the governments, the philanthropic organizations to pile money into the basic research to find those pathways out of the forest. And I'm confident we'll get there. And that's why I'm spending my time with Alzheimer's Research UK, because it only does research. It doesn't spend money on anything else other than funding the best research available. And what I did in government was obviously to try and raise the international profile to get the drug discovery uh, fund going. And in the UK, we're going to have the Dementia Research Institute at University College London. So I think there's great momentum. I think this is so my, my, my plea to the industry is, is, you know, now is not a time to pull back and give up, which I know you're not doing. Now is the time to redouble, because I think in the next few years we're going to see some big breakthroughs.